good native king and good interpreter. Welcome on this day of the good Lord's Feast of Thanksgiving. So we're making a culturally sensitive first Thanksgiving for Native American Heritage Month. Oh my god! <laughs> can't reach a new land until you let go of the shore. <laughs> or in this case, return to old lands, but as a more enlightened person because of the journey to the other land. <laughs> uh, let's put the audience here. <laughs> I am conscious of not allowing my personal issues to take up more space in the room than the justified anger of the Native people around this idea of Thanksgiving in our post-colonial society. <laughs> Without our Native American neighbors in the next room, they would be dead from starvation. Yes, we owe them thanks. I thanked them. <laughs> I read my words with real actors. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. <laughs> Maybe my character is conflicted about fighting the Indians. Ah, oh, good wife. <laughs> I am so conflicted <laughs> about the impending war. Let me soothe you, dear husband. <laughs> that is an incredibly offensive gender bias statement. I went by the pronoun Z for an entire year. I'm allowed one mistake. <laughs> so I'm probably too smart? Maybe. <laughs> he is for sure. I'm okay with that. 